in order to plot a sine wave you need to write a simple equation and the equation is this so this is the equation of sine function but you cannot directly plot this equation so for that you need to assign a variable to this equation let's suppose we define x is equal to sine 2 pi of t now here f means frequency which is fixed and t means time which is continuously changing now in order to plot the graph you require two things the first is x-axis in our case that is time and the second is y-axis in our case it is the sine function so what we are going to plot we are going to plot sine function with respect to time so here we have defined sine function but we are supposed to define time so before this equation we are going to define the time so here in line number one we have defined the time it starts from zero it goes up to one and the step size is 0 0.01 so the time is defined now what else we supposed to define we supposed to define the frequency so let's say frequency is equal to 2 hertz anything you can take anything here we are taking 2 hertz so time we have defined frequency we have defined now it's time to plot the graph and for that we are going to use the equation plot t comma x and now let's run there we go here we have a sine wave ready by default amplitude is 1 if you want to change the amplitude of this waveform then you supposed to multiply it with any particular digit or you need to assign a variable here in our case let's say we are assigning a variable a into sine and we assign a is equal to 5 let's run and now you can see the peak magnitude is 5 but here you can see that the graph it not looks professional does not look appropriate in order to make this simple graph more attractive and more professional you supposed to do a small thing and doing that small thing you can create your this simple graph can turn into this type of attractive graph so if you want to learn that you must watch this video or is there anything else you want to learn about MATLAB then you can watch this playlist almost 50 plus videos are there in that playlist so you can refer that playlist and enhance your knowledge about MATLAB so now quickly jump to the next video